Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. C-Sharp is a simple and powerful object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft. C-Sharp can be used to create various types of applications, such as web, windows, console applications, mobile apps or other types of applications using Visual Studio. These C-Sharp tutorials will help you learn the essentials of C-Sharp, from the basic to advanced level topics. These tutorials are broken down into sections, where each section contains a number of related topics that are packed with easy-to-understand explanations, real-world examples, useful tips, informative notes, and a points-to-remember section. These tutorials are designed for beginners and professionals who want to learn C-Sharp step-by-step. C-Sharp can be used in a window-based, web-based, or console application. To start with, we will create a console application to work with C-Sharp. Open the Visual Studio installed on your local machine. Then create a new project. If you are using Visual Studio 2019, you can see the different projects you can create that target different platforms and languages. We will create a console application. You can scroll down this or simply search for the type of project you intend to create. In the name section, give any appropriate project name, a location where you want to create all the project files, and the name of the project solution. Then, click Create. Program.cs will be created as default c -sharp file in Visual Studio where you can write your c -sharp code in Program class. Now let's create the famous Hello World program. Now let's understand the structure of this program. First is this area, these are .NET Framework namespaces. Every .NET application takes the reference of the necessary .NET Framework namespaces that it is planning to use with the using keyword. This declares the namespace for the current class using the namespace keyword. Then declared a class using the class keyword. The main is a method of program class, is the entry point of the console application. The string is a data type. Then, this message is a variable that holds the value of a specified data type. Hello world is the value of the message variable. The console.write line is a static method, which is used to display text on the console. And this part is a comment. Comments can be used to explain code and to make it more readable. It can also be used to prevent execution when testing alternative code. There are two types of comments in C-sharp, the single line and a multi-line. In this example, I am using a single line comment because it starts with two forward slashes. Take note, every line or statement in C-sharp must end with a semicolon. Now, to see the output of the C-sharp program, we have to compile it and run it by pressing Ctrl F5 or clicking the Run button or by clicking the Debug menu and clicking Start without debugging. Let's run the program. There you have it, the famous Hello World program. So these are the basic code items that you will probably use in every C-sharp code. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.